Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, oh, shit, this is not... Why am I in Spell Valley? Yeah, I'm just gonna show, put some replays in the background. While I tell you the truth, my truth, about gems. Is that you can have infinite. It says, uh, this game says... This game says no maximum gem limit. It only says a max gold amount of one million. Never said anything about max amount of gems. So I was thinking, if you spent so much money, how many gems would you go for? If you use so, if you had like a million dollars and you spent it all on Clash Royale. Would it stop you at a t certain limit? What I'm trying to say is, since it doesn't say anything about a max limit, no. So basically, it's like this. You say you buy, you get $500. And my situation is that I would only be able to use 300 because I need 200 to get out of negative gems. But three hundred dollars. That's approximately around. Th that's approximately around fifty thousand gems. So, imagine if you had all. Unlike me, imagine if you had all five hundred dollars. You had all five hundred dollars to spend. How much gems would it give you? Would it stop you at a certain amount? Probably not, because it never gives you a max limit of gems. So I can only predict that there's no way you cannot have infinite gems. And I'm just watching this replay while I speak, because I happen to be enjoying it for, for no odd reason at all. Probably because this guy's a giant witch user. And this guy has a similar deck to mine with the giant skeleton, elite barbs, and goblin barrel. But he does. But he has the zap. Hmm. Maybe when I get the electro wizard, I can try his deck. After I get the new cards, of course. So then try the four new cards, of course. Then I could see if I, when I get the electro wizard that I could replace, use his deck, but replace the zap with the electro wizard. And maybe the skeleton army with an executioner or something. Or even a battle ram. <laughs> yeah. Well, back to my truth I have found, have been s talking about. So I'm just like... You know how... When you get gems... You, when you buy offers, it doesn't... Like Nick and Knight, for example, it doesn't stop at like a hundred thousand or whatever, because he has a hundred thousand right now, and it didn't stop him. So I'm only guessing. So I'm easily guessing that you can ease. You can just get. You can get infinite. Infinite. I said it again. Infinite gems. Just because the fact that it doesn't give you a max limit, and also, you can have, you can have a lot, I mean, and I mean a lot, of gems. Like, an abnor abnormal amount of gems. Like, I can show you right now, now that this replay is over. But yeah, see? Gems can be used to buy gold, chests, tournaments, and to unlock and speed up chest unlocks. Nothing about a gem limit. And let's read the gold description. Gold is used to upgrade and buy cards. We already know that. You get gold from chests, winning battles, and by donating cards to your clanmates. Maximum gold is one million. You see? 
There's no extra paragraph underneath the first paragraph saying maximum gem limit. Maximum gem gems is blah, blah, blah. See the difference? This has a whole other paragraph. This only has the one paragraph. Well, now that I got over that, I'm just going to do a... Make a quick deck. Although I want you so bad. I'm just... You know what? In this trainer match, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try... This guy's deck. Profile. Slot 1, because I'm not using slot 1. And let's see how this deck does while I'm talking more about the gems. Now we're going to get into the statistic of offers. Gem offers. Arena offers. All that shit. And how, well... The fact that... It doesn't give you a max limit... In the offers, either. It just says, buy gems... Buy your gems. Just buy gems here. Just get your gems here. 10 out of 10. Get your gems here. So basically it's saying, well, mm, it's not saying a max gem amount. Odd. Isn't that oddly peculiar? First, we don't get an infinite. We don't get a maximum gem amount in the name's description, then we get a description of in the shop where it doesn't give you, in any of the offers, tell you, oh, don't sp spend only till you get to this amount of gems because this amount of gems is max, maximum gems or something around the lines of what, around the lines of weird sap and also I haven't had a game where the ice golem made it to the tower in a long long time until I was still down in like frozen the main part of frozen peak now I'm getting an arena 9 chest because I'm at 2600 trophies and the weird thing is the only reason that's I'm getting arena nine chests before before then is because I'm at twenty six hundred trophies, even though the arena doesn't exist yet. I wonder, will I get the arena nine offer when the arena comes out in ten days? When the arena comes out in ten days, will I get an offer? Will I get a special chest offer? Because I can easily right now just check on the offers. They don't they don't say otherwise. Look, I tap on Mountain of Gems. I don't have enough for a mountain of gems, but Everywhere it says here, it doesn't say max, spend up to maximum gems, and then says the maximum gem amount. Both the offers and the description. And you could do these two challenges as much as you want. They don't say you could do this until blah, 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 max gems, or whatever. I know what you're going to say. They probably don't... They probably won't add that in anyway. I know. But it's a possibility that everything related to gems doesn't mention anything about a maximum gem amount. The biggest being the description, which Supercell would have added... Would have, They would have added... If they had maximum gems... A maximum gem amount. Won't they add that in the description like the gold was? 
That's I'm that I'm just saying. Don't question me. I'm just the I'm just saying. And now I'm gonna quickly go over gemming plus legendaries. Gemming plus legendaries equals pay to win player. But what about those free to play players? How do they? Now we're gonna get in. What, that was just a brief section of saying free to play and pay to win players. But now we're gonna get. Now we're getting into some spicy stuff. We're getting into the area. How do free to play players and pay to win players know how to get how many maximum gems there are? Say the level ones in high arenas. They probably gem, just don't upgrade their shit. That's pr I'm pretty sure why they have legendaries. They gem, they just don't upgrade. Which is what's making me a little suspicious. Like, do they know there's no... Are they guessing there's no maximum gem limit or something? So that was free-to-play players and how sophisticated they could be. Especially since that's basically a pay-to-win level 1, but they don't upgrade a thing. So they don't spend gold even though they get in battles now. But... We have yet, yet, to see any level 1s in Jungle Arena, and we have yet to see any level 1s in Legendary. We're only seeing them in TV Royale and Arena 8 right now. And technically, in 10 days, which is a week and 3 days, so a week from today in 3 days, in the second to last Arena again. Right now, Arena 8 is still the second to last Arena, but in a in ten days it'll it'll be the second the third to last arena and jungle arena will be the arena I'm in, which is the second to last one. Then I'm gonna gem again, obviously, you know me. I'm gonna gem again and then I'm gonna Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get abnormal amounts of gems. I'm gonna get abnormal amounts of gems. Like you have no idea. I want to get to legendary, and if the only way to do it is a, as if I, the only way I could do, being a level 12 with level 12, ca with level, the cards a level 12 player would have, or a level, or a max level with max level cards, then so be it, am I right? That's how, that's how much I want to pay to win on this game, is that, I just want to be in legendary, no matter the cost. And also be able to get legend trophies. Because legend trophies will soon have their own current currency. Like I've heard that they're gonna Supercell said they were gonna make legend trophies be actually worth worth getting. Like they can actually That guy was just about to win, except for that dumb push he just pulled on him. But, as I was saying just two seconds ago, that... I'm gonna spend all the gems I... My, Supercell said that they were gonna give Legend Trophies a reason to be got now. So I'm only guessing that they're gonna be made into a currency. My guess is... Yes. Yes. Legendaries. You might be thinking that's the weirdest thing on the planet for legend trophies to be worth because they're legendaries and ooh, legendaries equals legend trophies. But no, I was thinking, I was leaning more towards the fact that legend trophies aren't worth anything. What if people haven't, are missing legendaries like I am and they couldn't find them in super magical chests like Sunday couldn't find the graveyard? in the most recent video, but he found the Electro Wizard, the Clone Spell, and the Elite Barbarians, but he couldn't find the Graveyard. So the only thing I'm guessing 
is that, well, I'm only guessing that, well, Legend Trophies are going to be worth for Legendaries or a, bun a bunch or even, even, double Legendary Chests. It's a new concept idea that I came up just just now. Double Legendary Chests. And by double legendary chests, I mean legendary chests that give you two, give you gu two guaranteed legendaries. It would be the same legendary except two of them. Yeah. Or it also could be two different ones. Just like the epic chest, it could be some of the same, or it could be a ton of the f of one. Although we haven't seen an epic chest that has like say. 10 guaranteed epics, and we haven't seen one card get a ma the max in, like, seconds. But it would be cool if that did happen. Then you could get a legendary out of an epic chest. Because you get, you get 10 guarantee. Where, well, where I'm at right now, it's 20. So, it's close to a super magical chest. So I can only imagine it being... Oh, oh. I can only guess that. It's like, oh, yeah. Epic chest, get 20 epics before the last card. You could get a legendary ad with epic chest. Supercell, I'm giving you the idea that you can add double legendary chests and epic chests that have the pause and make epic chests have a possibility to get legendary. It's all epics and all legendaries. No common, still no commons, still no rares. Just epics and legendaries, if possible. Which is basically the whole gist of the... But the double legendary chest... Now moving on to the double legendary chest. Like, you could get two, either two legendaries, two different lege legendaries, or... Or... Or, you can get... Two of one legendary. But, we, we all know about the super crown chest idea. That's prob- I'm pretty sure that's replaced with the clan chest. Sorry. Sorry, Clash. Sorry, people who wanted a soup, a super clan chest. It's not my fault. It's, it, it's super cell. Anyway, guys, before I wrap it up, my thing fell off again. Before I wrap this, wrap this up, I just want to say one more thing. End it off with one more thing, and one more replay, because I'm just talking about the game, so I think I would get bored if I'm just playing while talking, so please enjoy these random people having super close victories. The last thing I'm going to add is we haven't mentioned free-to-play players and how they know. Well, they know because they can get gems out of chests, remember? Anyone can get gems out of chests. But where I'm at, I'm only getting, like, two to four out of my occasional free chest. And I get, like, none out of my silver chest. Like, how come I get none out of certain chests? Like, like seriously. But that's not what I'm rambling on about. But free-to-play players could know about this all because of getting free gems. Imagine if they, all the way up to Legendary Arena, they saved Every single gem. Getting free super magicals at low at low arenas. Saving their gold from them. But the weird thing is super magical chests don't give gems because you have to pay for gems to get them in the shop. But you know, the more you know. And if they have the occasional giant chest, they won't get gems either. But if they get con coal constant c 
crown chests and constant silver, not silver, free, free and crown chests. I bet they don't even need to pay to get a lot of gems. Because clan chests give a lot. I mean, crown chests and free chests give a lot. Well, not free chests. They only give two to four. Or up, probably up to six in legendary. I don't freaking know statistic. I don't know statistics, people. I'm, I'm American. I don't... I know... I'm an American, but I'm not scientist American. That's what I meant. I'm not trying to be racist towards my own kind or anything. I'm trying to be honest. So all I'm saying is that they they could save up all their gems from their entire time of getting crown chests and free chests and straight up getting arena offers which give them gems if they pay small paying small amounts of money is still free to play you don't need to pay a pay to, you don't you pay for the offers because you want to pay for the offers that doesn't mean you want to you know freaking gem to a heart's consent or anything but yeah basically i'm going to wrap it up here and enjoy the rest of this replay without my f I can't not add my face cam without going into the settings. Shit. Well, anyway, destroy this replay while I just watch it. Anyway, guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it and figured out my truth behind gems and how they could be infinite, punch that like button, and I'll see all you in the next one. Bye bye. Sorry, not Markiplier.